My dear friends, I am Father Viber Stevens and I am sharing with you some more on friendship. And what I would like to concentrate on today is friendship with children. I am Father Viber Stevens and I am speaking to you from the Roman Catholic Diocese of Bridgetown here at St. Patrick's Cathedral during the close down due to the coronavirus. Now, we speak about friendship, about people journeying together, having a particular purpose or aim. We seek the truth. Now, I believe that children can teach us so much about friendship because we adults are so tied up within ourselves that we don't know how to reach out in genuineness to others. We think we have to pretend to be something better than what we really are. Children, they have no inhibition. A child will go to school for the first time and they do not have the skills that we have, but yet, although they may take a little time, you find a child is doing, uh, developing the same kind of skills that require, uh, requires of an adult to reach out to another. So the child knows how to empty him or herself to reach out to another person. Isn't that wonderful? Now, children develop friendship with each other from primary school or from kindergarten. They develop, and sometimes if they manage to go to the same school, or if they manage to have the connections to their parents, you will find that children doesn't have no crime. Children, for instance, they will have a disagreement, they may fight, they may bicker at each other, they may be selfish, want things for themselves. But after a while, the child will realize, well, for me to play, they begin to learn how to negotiate, to share. And we have not learned that yet as adults. You see, we, we, we think to keep things to ourselves and in ourselves and for ourselves. And a child naturally gives their children who you don't even have to teach them how to give or how to share. And children will tell you, well, this is my friend, and I want to meet my friend. And I have this, and they will say, oh, this is my little girlfriend, or this is my little boyfriend, and so on. And you wonder, wait, what are they thinking? But they are thinking that here is someone that I appreciate and I love in some way. You say, oh, they don't know how to love. They're, yes, there is that burning desire in every human being, whether you're small or an adult. It may not be expressed in the same way and have the same habit that some of us have, whether good or bad, but the child in a, in a sense know exactly what they desire and want. So a child will take something and keep it for her friend or his friend later on. So children know how to cultivate friendship and therefore they're always in the way of going out. So many of you have friendship from school days and the friendship is still going solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. And that is complimentary for you and that is a blessing for you because it is not easy to have a good friend. Look at David. Look at David and Nathan in chapter 20 of the book of Samuel, the first book of Samuel. How Nathan's father wanted to kill David and Samuel did rather and Nathan did everything that he could to protect David because he loved David as he loved his own self. That's a wonderful thing. Friendship calls persons to walk together work together for a long time and to share the joy and love. My friends, may this bring blessings to your children and to your home. Amen.